Last year, LSU took down Iowa in the national championship game, and Angel Reese taunted Iowa star Caitlin Clark for what felt like the entire second half. What did LSU do after that title win? Just add the top two transfers in the country with Anissa Morrow and Haley Van Lith, as well as one of the best freshmen in Michaela Williams. It looked like the Avengers were assembling in Baton Rouge, heading into the 2024 season. But that wouldn't matter, because Caitlin Clark decided to become likely the most unstoppable player the women's college side has ever seen. She led the nation in scoring at almost 32 a game this season, as well as leading in assists, in breaking the all-time NCAA career scoring record. But many still doubted that she could take down the LSU Super Team in a rematch of last year's title game. However, on Monday night, we got the answer, and Clark delivered a legendary performance in an Iowa win. A game that was tied at halftime broke open in the third quarter, where Clark made four insanely difficult threes in the frame. She would finish the game with 41 points, 12 assists, 7 rebounds, and 9 made threes. Remember that NBA playoff game where Austin Rivers was thanking God that Damian Lillard missed a shot? Or that feeling you had when Steph Curry took a three in 2016? That's what this game felt like for Caitlin Clark, as she continued to rain down contested 27-footers, leaving Angel Reese and Haley Van Lith putting their hands up in disbelief. It was barbecue chicken for Clark whenever guarded by HVL, as she repeatedly hit threes on her head and blew past her for layups. It clearly got into HVL's head as it turned into costly turnovers on the offensive end for LSU that felt very abnormal for the former Louisville star. I'd say it was an overall disappointing season for her as she tried to transition from an on-ball role with the Cardinals to an off-ball one with the Tigers. Clark in the women's game is taking over the sports world, as the conversation on Twitter tonight was almost entirely on the women's Elite Eight, leaving the NBA as an afterthought. The rematch lived up to any expectations we could have realistically had of it, and it went Iowa's way simply because Clark broke LSU and snatched their soul. Now, let's take a deeper look. Before we get into an all-time performance from Caitlin Clark, if you enjoy my content and watch a few videos of mine, think about subscribing. 96% of my viewers are actually not subscribed, so if you watch me before and enjoy the content, drop a sub and comment down below. It really helps the channel. For 20 minutes on Monday, Iowa and LSU dazzled the audience with their performance. However, it was Caitlin Clark who stole the show. The Iowa All-American and NCAA's all-time leading scorer broke the halftime tie of 45 with a remarkable deep pull-up three-pointer to kick off the third quarter. Clark's impressive display continued with four more successful three-pointers in the quarter, propelling Iowa to an 11-point lead. With Iowa maintaining control, the game essentially ended there, culminating in a 94-87 win over LSU in the Albany Regional Final. Clark's individual brilliance shone as she concluded the game with an absurd 41 points, including 9 successful made threes. This triumph not only secures a spot in the Final Four for Iowa, but also serves as redemption for last season's defeat against LSU in the national title game. After a season filled with unprecedented achievements, Clark finds herself just two wins away from concluding her college career with an NCAA championship. In the first half, the Hawkeyes and Tigers remain neck and neck, with Caitlin Clark and LSU All-American Angel Reese sharing the spotlight in what was anticipated as the most thrilling game of the season. Clark showcased her versatility with a combination of long-range shots and powerful drives through LSU's defense. Meanwhile, Reese dominated the paint on both ends of the court, swatting shots, intercepting passes, and converting offensive rebounds into points. However, the second half belonged unequivocally to Clark. She set the tone early with a deep three-pointer to kick off the half, followed by another impressive shot from near the logo that left defender Haley Van Lith helpless. By the end of the quarter, Clark had amassed an impressive 31 points, including seven successful three-pointers out of 14 attempts, putting Iowa comfortably ahead at 69-58. 
Although LSU mounted a brief comeback with a 5-0 run to start the fourth quarter, it proved to be their final push. Clark's 8th three-pointer of the night swiftly re-established Iowa's double-digit lead, allowing them to maintain control until the final buzzer sounded. Clark showcased her offensive prowess in every facet of the game. Whether unleashing deep shots or demonstrating her exceptional playmaking skills, she left an indelible mark on the court. Her remarkable performance included 41 points, 12 assists, 7 rebounds, and 2 steals. Clark's shooting stats were equally impressive, with 9 of 20 from beyond the arc and 13 of 29 from the field. She was utterly dominant, and from the jump, it felt like there was nothing LSU could do to stop it. Caitlin Clark just got revenge and broke LSU. Thanks for watching. I'm Herm. Have a good one.